Hare Krishna. We are going to start the program now. Attention please. Can His Holiness Jayapatake Swami Maharaj come forward here? Maharaj come forward. We love. So let's let's have Maharaj here. We will request His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj, His Grace Madhusevita Prabhu here. We are going to inaugurate the museum of His Divine Grace Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. Maharaj, yes. Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nityanare Namaste Sarasate Deve Gauravani Prachayani Nirvi Sesha Srinavani Pashta Kadesha Pare Srila Bhagavad Ki So we are very very happy today to open on the 150th appearance of the Srinavari's Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasate Prabhupada this museum depicting the life history of this divine grace of this Siddhanta Sarasitaka Prabhupada. This was conceived by the Temple of Vedic Planetarium and the BRC, Bhakti Vedanta Research Center. We came together so that we can offer this museum to the entire community to learn about. This divine grace of this is the source of Kapu So, and now we are going to inaugurate the schedule for today. There is first we will have Sosti Vachan. After the Sosti Vachan, we will have lighting of the lamps. His Holiness Jayapatak Swami Maharaj, His Holiness Madhanath Swami Maharaj, His Grace Madhusevita Prabhu, His Grace Pancha Gauda Prabhu, and His Grace Amrish Prabhu would light the lamp. And afterwards, we would hear from His Holiness Jayapataka Swami Maharaj, His Holiness Radhana Swami Maharaj, and all the guests probably. So let's start the program, the auspicious invocation, and I'm handing it over to Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu to make this very auspicious. Hari Om Sahara. Oh, 
सचिदानंदन सर्वेश्वरेश्वर स्वस्ति मे कृष्ण सर्वोकेश्वरीश्वर काशनादयश्चंदो स्वस्ति मे लोक पावन कृष्ण मम सर्वत्र स्वस्ति कुरिया समं तथा च सदा काश्ने सर्वघ्न विनाशन अत से कुसुमोपमेय कालिंदिमुना कुले कादंबिकूल वरते नव गोपवधो विलासाशालिवितंतमंगलाष्णको कल्याण कंसकुंजर केसरी कालिंदी जलकल्लोल कोलाहल कुतूहल माधव माधव वाचे माधव मालव हृदय स्मरते साधव सर्वे सर्वकार्यु माधव लाभस्ते जयस्ते कुतस्ते वराभव श्याम हृदयस्थो जनादना मंगल भगवान विष्णु मंगल मधुसूदना मंगलोयम ऋषिकेश मंगलायतनो हरि विष्णुच्चारणमात्रेण कृष्ण से स्मरणाध हरे सर्व विघ्ना नश्य मंगल से संशय हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे थैंक यू कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद द ऑफरिंग फॉर हिज गिविंग दिस भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस ठाकुर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हिज होलीनेस जय प्रता स्वामी महाराज के जय Sudha, 
the divine grace on to Sanat and Saraswati Prabhupada. Celebrating the 150th anniversary of His Divine Grace, Srila Bhaktisnanda Sastri Thakur Prabhupada. And uh, he, um, when Prabhupada Bhakti Vinanda Swami, who Bhakti Vinanda Swami, he met Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Vinanda Swami. Uh, actually, what? Bhakti Vinod Ashram in Calcutta. Uh, it's a house. Hold it on And uh, it was in uh, this affair. The name of the state is Ulta Danga. Presently. Uh, Presently. He told the young Abai. Thank you. 
for their contribution. We hope that all the spiritual descendants of Ishtanda Saraswati Thakur will appreciate, will appreciate. See the Uttar Bengal, where is the, the works? See the Uttar Bengal place and also the BRC. So, the descendants of Dr. Siddhartha Kaga, the good gods, and the good in one, and his son, and others. The descendant of Bhakti Shanda Saraswati Thakur are from Iskon, from Gaudiya Math and others. Hare Krishna. Thank you so very much, Maharaj. Next, we would present from His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj. We humbly request all the speakers to keep a time of two minutes so that we can go to the next program. There are so many programs lined up today. So, Maharaj. <coughs> Introduction to the grand openings that will be happening in the Temple of Vedic Planetary. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur was one of the primary instructions he was given by his father, Shiksha Guru Bhakti Vinod Thakur, to serve the holy town of Sri Mayapur and to reveal his dream people from all over the world would be coming chanting the holy names. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada, where the Chaitanya Bhatt is now, he chanted one billion names of Krishna to empower himself for this mission. And from here he went to Calcutta and met Srila Prabhupada and gave that instruction that instruction that was um, the seed which grew into the flower of this time where we have been spiritually born. Shri Prabhupada made my Kutali in this inspiration from his Guru Maharaj, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada, made it his international headquarters. And how for us pleasing our beloved Shri Prabhupada is our life and soul. And I cannot think of a more wonderful way to please him than this offering in glorification of his spiritualness for today. Thank you, Ambarish, for being so hard for all the teams that are working so hard in bringing their lives. Hare Krishna. Thank you so very much, Mara. The next word is that of how his grace others have to pay. I don't feel it's so qualified to say anything. Well, I lived here in Mayapur for some years in the early 70s. 
And um, the, the presence of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta was still felt. Um, I think Janani was pretty once told me a, a story of a brahmachari that was a disciple of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta. And he was telling him that when Srila Bhakti Siddhanta would go on the balcony of his, of his quarters, everyone, the workers, they, they let them, the malis, the land work, you know, those who were working in the fields, everyone felt something different was happening. They felt his presence. And it was something mystical. His consciousness was pervading the openness, all the dharma. And I've always been struck with wonder when Prabhupada said that his Guru Maharaj was always with him. It's, it's something that cannot be understood on the material plan. How one personality can live within another personality and thousands of personalities of our Guru Parampara were within Shiva Prabhupada, but primarily he had his Guru Maharaj always with him. Once he was uh, going with the car uh, on the Bhakti Siddhanta Road, Shiva Prabhupada, and someone said, why don't you stop and pay your obeisances to, to the Samadhi of Shiva Bhakti Siddhanta? And he had said, he's always with me. He's always with me. So when we see Shiva Prabhupada, we should know that with him, your Guru Prabhupada, to Krishna, is with him. But particularly, his love and affection goes to his Guru Maharaj, Shiva Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, the lion guru. That they say that when he, he took prasad and he took so much soul, that nobody could take it. <laughs> So, I always be wondering about that also, but it's a, it's a nice story. Thank you. Sorry for the for taking too much of your time. Oh, no, 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 you perfectly did too much. Thank you so very much. Here to you. Next, we will listen from Ambrish Prabhu, who was the instrumental in making this uh, museum possible here at the Block Vedic Plant here. Over to Ambrish Prabhu. Yeah. Namam Vishnu Padaya Gasabhasthaya Bhutalaya Shimati Bhakti Vedanta Sangi Kehumi Namaste Sarasati Yavaka Nirvisesa Sangi Vashtyatada Sataraya It's wonderful to see so many people that are here to celebrate uh, the opening of this uh, particular part of the TLVB Many of you who are disciples of Shiva Prabhupada know how much he wanted this temple, how much he wanted people to come to mind for, how much he wanted to uh, introduce Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the world. So uh, we're very happy that we've gotten to this point. And I'm, I want to tell you, it's a mystery to me how it's happened. You know, some people say, congratulations. I haven't done anything. I don't, you know, I couldn't build a brick wall. I'm telling you. But uh, somehow or other, it's come up, and you know, between uh, South Buj and Velasini and Gammon getting the superstructure up, and then uh, Cushman and Wakefield taking over and pushing out the construction, and so many wonderful people have been involved uh, to get this temple up. So. I'm very happy that we're finally getting part of it open. It's a wonderful thing. And uh, it'll, you know, it'll introduce the world to ISKCON and to Krishna consciousness, which is what Srila Prabhupada wanted. He told me uh, in Detroit, 1976, he was describing about the TOVP. This is a cautionary tale. You should be very careful about what you say in front of your spiritual master. <laughs> so he said, well, how do you like this idea of Maharaj? Maharaj? And I said, well, it sounds like a very nice idea. <laughs> and he said, good, you can finance. <laughs> <laughs>
And somebody took a photograph of that, and I have it on my desk at home. So I'm very, very fortunate, as I tell everybody, finally somebody gave me a job. And I, I was totally unemployable before, so I'm very happy that uh, I have this service for Prabhupada. And uh, so somebody was talking about keeping the spiritual master, you know, within the mind all the time. You know, I never feel separated from Prabhupada. I, you know, I'm, I'm committed to his instruction. I think about them every day. And uh, it's a wonderful thing to be that close uh, to the instructions of the spiritual master. I, will, I am not a sadhu or, you know, a, a great intellect or anything like that. But I do love Prabhupada, everybody knows that. And uh, I plan to keep loving Prabhupada for the rest of my days. So this is part of it. And uh, I'm very happy that we're pushing the opening, you know, open. And uh, that you all are here. And thank you very much for coming and for uh, being part of this. It's very exciting. Thank you. Hare Krishna. So very much, Abhirish Prabhu. Uh, he is the reason what you are seeing. Everything is coming up. Very, very grateful to him. Now we will listen from his better half, Swaha Mataji, a few words and glorification of his divine grace. Bhakti Siddhanta Sasita. Okay!
because not many people may have the uh, ability to get to the BRC. So this is an amazing endeavor and I thank everyone who's been involved in it and uh, thank you very much. Oh, one last thing. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Maharaj's appearance day is a very, very, very important day at the TOVP. Four years ago, we celebrated the opening of the Pujari floor and it was the most joyous occasion. And so we are really happy that we could come together to do this wonderful dedication in his honor. Hare Krishna, thank you. Thank you so very much for having a pleasure. We are going to witness tomorrow and the day after tomorrow the opening of the Narsimhadev temple, all designed by her. So it's, it's an amazing thing. Hold your breath. And March 2nd, the miracle in the making, you are going to witness the history. Next we will have Padmanath Gosami Maharaj from Rindavan. He made a promise that he will come for all of our festival in Mayapur. So very, very grateful to have Padmanath Gosami Maharaj from Rindavan. And his great grandfather is very close to his wife, his Bhakti Siddhanta Sasita Petropa. Over to Padmanath Gosami Maharaj. Hey! Yeah. I am really very grateful from uh, Japataka Maharaj, Radhanath Maharaj and all the dignitaries and Amrish Prabhu. After long, many years, we met with the Amrish Prabhu. He was graced to visit in our house to take lunch prasad of Radharamanji, both of them. So, I am from the bottom of my heart. I am very thankful to Radhanath Maharaj and Gauram Prabhu and Sumantarutra Prabhu and Sundar Gopal Prabhu. Because they have given me the opportunity to visit the BRC in Calcutta. And uh, by the grace of Lord Sri Radharamanji, my great grandfather Sri Madhusudan Goswami. He was very close of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj. And we have the diaries of my great grandfather, and there is the mention about the meeting with the Bimla Prasad. Wow. That was his name before the sannyas. And I saw that diaries of Gaurav Prabhu and Brishkulas Prabhu and Asumanta Rudra Prabhu. All they are witness. And the Bhakti Vikas Swami Maharaj, he has written that uh, meeting that Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati, he was staying for six months in Radha Raman temple, in the campus in our house. Wow. This is mentioned in his biography written by the Bhakti Vikas Swami. So, we have a connection with the opportunity for the last four generations in my family, my great-grandfather, my grandfather, my father. He was very close with the Seal Guru Park. And uh, there is many photographs. I have the one original letter of Seal Guru Park, which he has written to my father in 1956. And still I have not received that letter in his own handwriting. Wow. So, I am very close with the BRC and I am very thankful with the Goran Prabhu and uh, Sumantra Rudra Prabhu that they have given the Ambushkulas Prabhu that they have given the opportunity. So, we are, I have also that diaries and some uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati's uh, published magazines and some books. So, I am also trying to connect with the BRC and I am also preserving these diaries and these books and this will be a great future for the coming devotees and the new generation. They have to learn how to go for the spiritual life and the devotion for the Krishna consciousness. And uh, this young generation especially they have to learn from these uh, archives and the research institute and they should be 
go and read the things that what is the mention in their diaries and their publication that will be a very grateful for their devotional life so i am again i am very thankful to the Burj Bilas Prabhu and all the devotees that they, they have given me the invitation to come and join. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Thank you so very much, Maharaj. Yeah, Maharaj wanted to say quickly something. Let's hear from Maharaj. So we're Spoke something about a little bit. Spoke something a little bit. But one thing I do is I say that Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada's uh, diary, I think the VRC, but I say this. Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada's diary. I'm trying to VRC. Captain VRC. Actually, this wonderful facility. So we have wonderful facility. And this temple of Vedic Planetarium. This temple of Vedic Planetarium. And that's how it did to be hard work of the uh, owners, so how family. And that's due to the hard work of Ambrish Pagan Swaha Mataji. Oh, what uh, they are being assisted by. And they are being assisted by Prajavilas. Uh, we can't underestimate by their stepping forward. They are inspired here all over the world. They are sending forward. They are inspiring the people from all around the world. Prajavilas was coming out one little Chinese girl. Rizavilas was telling how one little Chinese girl she was saving her uh, uh, she was saving her little monies in a piggy bank so how many people are contributing and helping with all by the inspiration of our guru and uh, so on and so on how many people are contributing? It's all by the inspiration of Amrish Prabhu and Swaha So, I mean, 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 the collection of VRC on Bhakti Dhamma Sarasara belongs here because this temple also is an inspiration. Certainly, BRC at the, uh, and also the Bhakti Dhamma Sarasara because Prabhupada's in. By uh, inspiration of Bhakti Dhamma Sarasara. The inspiration of Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada. Prabhupada wanted to build this temple. And uh, he inspired the devotees to carry out this service. And he inspired devotees to carry out this service. And also, some, sometimes Prabhupada said, sometimes Prabhupada said, all the two disciples, we are representatives. I see you sent by Bhakti to have the service of the temple. That all you devotees, disciples, you represent uh, Srila Bhakti Sandra Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. And, uh, so he saw what he was trying to do carrying out the order. He saw how uh, you were trying to carry out the order. Whatever help you were getting. Whatever help you were getting. That's help from his spiritual master. Help from his spiritual master. Divine Grace will have a peace and a sense of the Thakur. So, I'm sorry, 
take this on the journey. It really is stress. I just want to take this opportunity to really stress uh, how great is the service that Andre Fulu and Sahadasi are doing. And how great the service that Ambrish Prabhu and Swahadasi is doing. Hare Krishna. Thank you so very much, my lad. Our last speaker today is Hari Suri Prabhu. We beg forgiveness from all the other devotees sitting here. We wanted to hear, but we will save it for the next time. There are two days of festival, so we will hear from everybody. Lastly, Hari Suri Prabhu was connected with BRC. He is the BRC. Sorry. Hari Suri Prabhu. Over here. Founder of BRC. Hare Krishna. Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada Ki. Shri Prabhupada Ki. So, um, <laughs> we don't have very long, but uh, the uh, BRC actually was started in uh, response to Shri Prabhupada's personal desire. Uh, in 1975, he sent Ravindra Prabhu to Calcutta, and it is Ravinder here today. I saw him downstairs. But he spent several days researching how to get affiliated with the universities in Calcutta or other places. Uh, when he came back, his conclusion was that it was a bit too soon. But at the same time, uh, the seed was planted uh, to have an affiliated university level educational institute. So in 1976, then uh, Prabhupada was in Mumbai and he called Giri Rajan and Nitai Das and he told them, I want a first class library in this new temple. And uh, he said he should have all of my books, all the works of the Acharyas, but nothing from bogus people like Gandhi and uh, so forth. <laughs> so. Uh, he was given 4,000 rupees at that time by Prabhupada to go out and start buying books for that library. Uh, somehow or another, it didn't happen. Many, many years passed by. And then um, I had become connected with the TLPP by the grace of Amarish's desire. So we, uh, uh, I was in Sweden in 2008 and uh, Ruben Srupapu was there and he told me that there's one devotee here uh, he's studying for his PhD he's trying to get one library uh, in Calcutta so why don't you speak with him so I met him and uh, we had uh, let's see um, we had some funding from the NVT about 11 lakhs of rupees. Jaipatak Maharaj is an MBT trustee. So the trustees, I was the secretary of the MBT. So I put a proposal that we start this project to build this library that Prabhupada wanted. So in that way then we got some funding. We got the building. And then after six months of hard work, we got it all uh, nicely refurbished and we managed to get the uh, collection. So that collection of books that we started off with was actually most of the library of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. It was his personal library, you could say, uh, in uh, Calcutta at the Bhag Bazaar Gaudi Man. Over the years, through infighting, some of it got scattered, but most of the library was taken by one disciple who later on looked, if you like, and um, the library was retained by his family in uh, Calcutta, and then uh, fast forward to 2006, 7, 8, Pranava was going every year to Calcutta to do studies on his PhD, he found out about this collection, we uh, contacted the uh, custodian of the library, the family actually 
gave them after agreeing to sell it to us, that collection. Later on, they actually gave it to one of our Guru Bhai cousins, Srila uh, Bodhyan Goswami Maharaj. And uh, by his generosity, the uh, whole library, about 3,000 works, was given to the BRC uh, for safekeeping. And um, we opened officially on June 29th in 2009. Uh, and uh, since then, we've uh, we spent quite a bit of effort and time collecting manuscripts, uh, books, preserving literature. We got into places where we never thought we would get into, uh, like at Pianaga, back in the uh, place there, Dakobari. The um, uh, whole library was we were given for scanning, etc. So somehow or another, anyway, things have grown up. Uh, I retired from the management there a couple of years ago, but now we have Sunday Gopal Prabhu. Where is he? This is Sunday Gopal Prabhu. He's a disciple of Bhakti Balabhadra. Uh, Sunday Gopal Prabhu. Uh, Sunday Gopal Prabhu. 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 Sunday
Then we had the Guru Puja, and Prabhupada called me over. The platter was sitting there in front of his Guru's picture, and he told me, he said, now take a sample of everything, put it on a plate, and take it up to my room. So I did that. We had a silver plate that we carried with us for Prabhupada. So we, uh, I put bits and pieces of every preparation. And then at the end of the uh, Guru Puja, then Prabhupada went up, back up to his rooms, and then he tasted every single preparation. He's on his table there. He's very, very happy. So uh, Prabhupada is the son of his father, the true son of his father. Uh, he followed in his footsteps with this prolific preaching, printing books. One book distributed in the West is more important than uh, more pleasing to Shilvati Siddhanta Sanjwadi Thakko Prabhupada than any festival of fruits and flowers. But we should become puffed, puffed up and think we're the only ones that are doing this work. Yeah. Jabatak Maharaj, he uh, mentioned the BSCT, Back to, Back to Vedanta Swami Charity Trust, and that's a, not an organization, but a trust that was set up by Prabhupada in the very last week on the planet, on his last week on the planet, and he wanted it particularly to be used as a vehicle for fostering cooperative uh, preaching work between himself and his god brothers. So this is our hope that this BRC, Back to Vedanta Research Center, this will prove to be at least one small stepping stone to expanding the teachings of Shiva. Back to Vinod Thakur, Back to Savanta Sajrani Thakur, Back to Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. We want to see these literatures spread everywhere. So this is our task. We go over Thank you so very much, Prabhu. Lastly, a vote of thanks from Gaurana Prabhu. After that, we will have a Puspanjali. I have one dessert. Vaishnavas are compared to dessert tree. They fulfill all the desires. My one desire for today is let us allow Srila Prabhupada disciples to offer first the Kushpanjali, please sit down where you are. Let us come orderly and offer the flowers to Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasita Kapur. Okay. Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur was also the first blogger in the world where he started a daily blog called Nadia Prakash, 20 years of daily newspaper in Bengali. And people have always been wondering when will it be translated to English. We are happy to launch today the Nadia Prakash website in English. Where all of these wonderful, beautiful literatures have been uploaded in English. Only the first six have been uploaded. We have still 20 years to go. www.nadiyaprakash.com So we are happy to launch it on the occasion of Shri Saraswati Thakur's 150th anniversary. Our academic team has published a few books and these books will be available here on the 8th of March. Balram Lila Prabhu and the team will be here to explain. This is Saraswati Jayashri Sripar translated by His Holiness Banu Swami Maharaj, which is autobiography of Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. In Bengali, we have Dr. Shantanu Dev, can raise your hand, from Calcutta University, who helped write this beautiful Swalikita Jeevani autobiography of Sri Bhakti Vinod Thakur. We have Bhakti in Vaishnava Traditions by Dr. Ferdinando and Shakuntala Gaude, which is an extremely well-researched scholarly book. We have Narrative Analysis of Bhagavad Puran by Dr. Shakuntala Gaude from Mumbai University. We have from the Vallabh Sampradaya, Maharas Manjusha of the Rasa Panchayat Bihai by Nandaga Nandagas by Prakriti Goswami, one of the descendants of Vallabh Acharya. And for those who are interested in the deities of Madan Mohan, all the different pastimes related to Madan Mohan, the history of Madan Mohan Temple, the architecture of Madan Mohan Temple has been well researched leading up to the creation of the Madan Mohan Temple at Govardhan Eco Village by Mr. Sushant Bharti, a fantastic architect and published by the Bhakti Vedanta Research Center. And this is a very interesting series we have started, well researched books on each and every holy place across India beginning with Kanchipuram 
The entire book has been researched thoroughly by scholars, including all the details of all the different temples and holy places, along with the GPS locations, all well researched and presented with excellent pictures. All of these books have been published only in the last 12 months by our academic team at Bhaktivedanta Research Center. Thank you very much because there was a lot of doubt that BRC is a library filled with Bengali books and Sanskrit books, but what about others who don't know Bengali and Sanskrit? So we were pushing the team to bring out literatures in English. So we are very happy that you have done that. And we are very grateful to all the team, especially the TOVP team who has enabled this beautiful exhibition. And this is a proposal to all the ISKCON temples that if any ISKCON temples want to create a library or an exhibition in their temple for the visitors, for the pilgrims, for the guests, so the Bhaktivedanta Research Center is available as a collaborating partner. We would be happy to support you. We have all of our documents digitized. You could just get those digitized documents, print them out and display it the way you want so that every temple could have an excellent repository of an exhibit of all these beautiful books. Thank you to all the Srila Prabhupada disciples who were present here and blessed us on this occasion. Thank you all very much. Hare Krishna. Now we are going to have, <coughs> now we are going to have Pushpanjali. Please come stand. Only Srila Prabhupada disciples will come and offer flowers after that. Please follow the line. Come and offer your flowers. Now over to our Ekanapra. Disciples come. We have the flowers here. Do you need video? Just the I don't know. I'm not live. I'm not live. I'm not live. I'm not live. So we request all Prabhupada disciples to come forward. The rest they can repeat. Om Agyana Anirandasya Ananjana Salakaya Chaksa Umilitanyena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manavistam Stapitam Yanabutale Sayan Rupa Katamahyam Dadati Swapadantikam Bandeham Sri Guru Sri Yuta Tadakamalam Sri Guru Vaisnavamscha Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatham Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parigyana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sirada Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakam Vitamscha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mathe Bhakti Vedanta Swami Itinamine Namaste Sarasati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sumyavadi Pasatya Dashatari Ne Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Ti Namine Sri Varshavanavi Devi Daitaya Kripabdaya Krishna Sambandha Vigyana 
दायने प्रभवे नम मधुर्यज्वाला प्रेमाध्या श्रीरूपनुगा भक्तिदा श्री गौरा करुणाशक्ति विग्रहाया नमोस्तुते नमस्ते गौरवाणी सुमूर्त दिनधारिणे रूपनुघापासीदिणे ईशा पुष्पाजलि नम ओम विष्णुपदा कृष्ण प्रेस्ता भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति सिद्धांता सारस्वती नामिने श्रीवर्षवा नवी देवी दैत्याय कृपाद कृष्ण संबंध प्रभवे नम मधुर्यज्वाला प्रेमाध्या श्रीरूपनुगा भक्तिद श्री गौरकुणशक्ति नमस्तुते नमस्ते गौरवाणी श्रीमूर्त दिनतारिणे रूपनुगापासीदिणे ईशा पुष्पाजलि नम ओम विष्णुपदा कृष्ण प्रस्ता भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति सिद्धांता सारस्वती नामिने श्रीवर्षवा नवी देवी दैत कृष्ण संबंध विज्ञान दायने प्रभवे नम मधुर्यज्वाला प्रेमाध्या श्रीरूपनुगा भक्तिदा श्री गौरकुणशक्ति विग्रहाया नमस्तुते नमस्ते गौरवाणी श्रीमूर्त दिनतारिणे रूपनुघापासीदिणे ईशा पुष्पाजलि श्रीमती सिद्धांत सरस्वती प्रभुपाली गौड़ प्रमाण Let's wait for some time. Let's all the sort of group of disciples be comfortable and let them go to their respective destinations. Then we will have other devotees coming forward to offer the pushpanjal. And also, please take a look of the museum. Go around, take a look of the museum. So this museum is going to be here for a month. So you can come any time. and go over the whole museum thank you so very much for coming hare krishna hey sara 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 guru maharaj aage aage jao video photo <laughs> <laughs> 